What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Andy the Destroyer Ruiz. Andy Ruiz states that he was devastated by the loss to Joshua. Don't want to make the same mistakes I did before. Andy Ruiz Jr. admits mishandling fame and fortune cost him dearly in his rematch against Anthony Joshua, celebrating and living life high on the hog for too long between his fights with Joshua, participated poor preparation for their immediate rematch in December of 2019. Ruiz came in at 283 and a half pounds for their second fight, 15 and a half pounds more than he weighed for their first fight, and the former heavyweight champion performed accordingly. Joshua, whom Ruiz stunningly stopped in the seventh round of their bout in 2019 fight at Madison Square Garden, thoroughly outboxed Ruiz their 12-round rematch. The British superstar won a unanimous decision, 119-109, to 118 to 110, 118-110, to 110, and regained his IBF, IBO, WBA, and WBO titles from Ruiz in Saudi Arabia. So, Ruiz said this, quote, What a lot of people don't understand is that I've been waiting for this moment my whole life, Ruiz said. And once that moment happened, you know, I kind of went a little off the road, you know. I started doing things that I thought I would never be able to do. I wasn't really focused on Joshua rematch, but now, like I said, I was really devastated. I do not want to go back. I do not want to do the same mistakes I did before. And like I said, I'm more motivated than I ever been before. I have God on my side and Eddie right here. That's Eddie Reynoso, not Eddie Hearn. <laughs> so we're ready for whatever comes my way. The 31-year-old Ruiz hopes he can fight his way back into position for a heavyweight championship once again. He will be fighting uh, Chris Ariola on Fox Sports pay-per-view. Okay, now... Let me counterpunch. What Ruiz is saying, what a lot of people thought. He wasn't really focused on Joshua. He underestimated Joshua. I think it's more of underestimating on top of that. I think it was a nice mixture of him not really giving a shit like he did say, you know, and I, I do respect him for saying that because a lot of people won't. A lot of people will say something else or make up some shit. He was just like, yo. I got everything I wanted. I've been waiting for this all my life. And when it happened, it was like, okay, I can't do anything else. So you can't really fault Andy Ruiz. Um, unlike someone like Tyson Fury, the only difference is Tyson Fury didn't give anybody a rematch, but when he did reach that pinnacle, like everything didn't mean it. Like he's already reached the top of the mountain. OK, the mountaintop. So he has nowhere else to go but down. And a lot of people get like that. They get complacent or they just get bored. You know, they get non motivated because they've already done what they feel that they couldn't do. They've done what they felt they would never, ever get a chance to do. And when they got a chance to do it, not only did they do a good job, they won and they made money that they never made before. OK, so I respect that. I respect Andy Ruiz saying that, like, yo, I ate too much. I wouldn't really care. Look at Roberto Duran. Look at Roberto Duran. He was the guy that said no mas. Why? Because he was not in shape to fight Sugar Ray Leonard for a rematch. The way he partied, the things that he'd done during that time was not in preparation of fighting Sugar Ray Leonard again. But Sugar Ray Leonard, being a great fighter that he is, was ready to take on the task. It was times he couldn't sleep. He was dreaming, eating, sleeping, Roberto Duran. Okay? That's what he was doing. That's why he was more focused. Just like Anthony Joshua. Switch to him. Let's look at him. He was focused on Ruiz. Not Wilder, not Fury. In fact, he was almost pissed off about being mad or mad about it at himself for thinking about those guys so much. Instead of the guy that was right there in front of him that gave him that ass whooping. And his name was Andy Ruiz. You see what I'm saying? So it, I think what it, what Andy's thing is, I think maybe he could turn it around. You know, I, I obviously what he's working on right now 
is showing us that he does want something. Now, is it the strap? Is it the belt back? I don't know. I think, honestly, it's for the money. <laughs> I think the money is really what satisfied him because he spent more time with the money at this point than without. Because he, when he beat Joshua from June to December, that was the only times he had the belt because he lost them right back, right? So I think at the end of the day, I think Andy Ruiz wants to fight for that championship again, not because he can like he feels he can lose all. I mean, win all that much. I believe he does with the punching power and the skill that he has. But I think he really the underlying factor about Andy Ruiz. He's doing that shit for money. Now, let me counterpunch this further, okay? If Andy Ruiz blamed it all on himself, like, like someone's supposed to do when they, when they are at fault, then why in the Hades did he fire Manny Robles or get someone else to fire Manny Robles? See, in this case, you look at Wilder's thing about Mark Breland. Well, at least he didn't come out and say, hey, it was my fault. At least he blamed it on someone from jump. Andy Ruiz is blaming somebody after already taking the charge. It's almost like, hey, I did it. I take the charge and everybody leaves like, you know what? You did it. You take the charge. <laughs> it's your fault. So you're going to do the time. You're going to get the punishment. I'm going to be fired. Right? And that's exactly what happened. That's why I couldn't understand. Like, well, okay, well, what is he really talking about? He just said, yeah, I got it. You know, I got everything I wanted and I, I wasn't focused on Joshua. Yeah, you wouldn't focus on your on your trainer either. So why would you blame your trainer and fire him after the fact you've already admitted that you lost? That's my only problem with this shit because it's not consistent. Yes, I did everything wrong. It was me. It was me. It was me. Then everybody leaves. Let me go fire my, my trainer. <laughs> no, matter of fact, dad, you do it. Go fire him. It's your job. Go ahead. Fire him. I'm tired of him. <laughs> I'm tired of Manny. He's old school. He's old news. Right. But anyway, I thought it was very, very interesting to hear him come out and say that. Um, but I honestly think he's doing it for the money. He knows if he can get a fight with uh, with Anthony Joshua again, he'll know that'll pay out. Just like Golovkin is chasing Canelo. Why? Because it'll pay out. OK, so these guys are wanting these cash cows because that's the best money to make in their time of their careers counterpunch but anyway you guys tell me what you think of andy ruiz stating that he was devastated after the loss to joshua and he doesn't want to make the mistake twice you guys tell me what you think of andy ruiz's statements of course please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch peace